The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to move an object using rigidbody.adforce. So this is using physics-based movement. It automatically handles collisions and it's most useful for objects that are meant to interact with other physics-based gameplay. So to start out, I'm going to set up the scene by setting up a cube that I'll change the dimensions of to make it into a flat surface that I'll call ground. It'll be 20 by 0.1 by 20 on the scale. And then I'm gonna set up a cylinder to act as the object. Note that the blue arrow on the cylinder is facing the same direction as the main camera. That's because the main camera is stationary, so all of this will be considered forward wherever the blue arrow is pointing. So I'm going to add a component to the cylinder called a rigid body, and then I need to add a script. So I'm going to create a new C sharp script. I already created one, and I'm going to open it up, delete the comments inside, and then I just need to add two variables at the top. One is a rigid body called RB, and the other is an int force that I'll just set to one. So in the start method, I need to get the rigid body component from the object. Do this by setting RB equal to get component, rigid body. That's it for the start function. Everything else will be an update. So start out by saying if input dot get key, key code dot W. So if I press the W key, I just want to move forward. So to do that, say rb.addForce, transform.forward times force. So I can save that, go over to Unity, hit play on the game. After I drag the script onto the object, when I hit play, I hit W, do that one more time. I hit W and it just adds a force in that direction and the object actually falls over. So to add a bit more, I'm actually gonna cut and paste the three other directions. So I map them to W, A, S, and D. So you can move backwards, move right and move left. So backwards is just negative transform.forward, right is transform.right, and left is negative transform.right. So now I have the ability to apply force in those four directions. So now to be able to move up or upwards, I'm gonna set up the same if statement and map it to the key of J and then same thing RB dot add force transform dot up times force and you can set different force variables you can set a force one force two force three if you want these forces to have different values but then I'm also going to set the way to move down and map that to the letter C and that will just be negative transform dot up so I'll save that Go back to Unity, and now when I hit play, and I hit any of those six keys, I'll be able to move this object in a variety of different directions. So it just went off the screen there. I think it actually fell off the map. So I'm gonna hit play again, and now I'm just kind of hitting different keys and it will go all over the place. And now it's gone. And that's everything. That's it.